When you dive into God's teachings and spend solitary moments in His presence, something special unfolds. Your thoughts start to refresh, your character begins to change, and even your desires take on a new form. Your outlook shifts as you start to trust in unseen forces rather than relying solely on what's visible. Your dependence shifts towards the Lord. The more you nurture a personal connection with Him, the more His presence becomes tangible. This deepens your faith and opens you up to transformation. You see, when God sets out to change you, He starts from within, working on your heart first, and the rest follows suit. As you listen to this prayer, believe and anticipate with a hopeful heart that God's promises are real and meant for you. Remember what our Lord said in Matthew 28, verse 20, I am with you always, to the very end of the age. So, join me in faith and declare with confidence that you expect God to uphold His promises. You trust Him to provide stability when everything else seems to be falling apart because He's the cornerstone of your life. You rely on His protection, knowing He's as mighty as the Lion of the tribe of Judah. You look to Him for guidance into the unknown future, acknowledging He's the beginning and the end of your journey. You anticipate breakthroughs because you believe that with God, nothing is impossible. For the Lord is truth, unchanging throughout time. As children of God, we can confidently expect Him to keep His promises. Whatever He has promised, He will surely fulfill. So let's pray together. Heavenly Father, I come before you today acknowledging your supreme power and might. You care deeply for your people, and I entrust every aspect of my life to you. My family, my loved ones, every relationship, I place them all in your capable hands. I surrender every worry, fear, and negative emotion to you. Remove anything within me that hinders my faith in your promises, Holy Spirit. Release your grace, mercy, and divine power upon me. Strengthen my belief and faith in your word. Thank you for freeing me from shame, sin, and unrighteousness. You clothe me with love and mercy, adorning me with garments of joy. You are a faithful God, always true to your covenant. I rely on you completely and trust in your protection. When the enemy attacks, be my shield and defender. Help me stand firm, knowing you are my stronghold and salvation. Your word is true. You are my rock, fortress, deliverer, and strength. I praise and honor your name for granting me this day. This is a gift from the Lord, a day to rejoice and be glad. I entrust this day into your hands, Father. I rejoice in it because you've given me fresh opportunities, new mercies, and the gift of life. I'm grateful for your grace, protection, and peace that you offer me today. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus, asking for protection over my mind, body, and soul. I surrender all my worries into your hands. As another day unfolds, I acknowledge my uncertainty about what it holds. But I ask that you go before me, Lord, and accompany me throughout the day. Guide my steps, Holy Spirit, and provide me with wise counsel. Strengthen my heart to obey your commands. Father, show me mercy in every area where I fall short. You know my needs and are faithful to provide. I declare that your goodness and mercy will always be with me and my family. Thank you for your richness in mercy. Help me to rely less on my own strength and independence. When I fail, forgive me and thank you for always welcoming me back. You are the most high, full of kindness and grace upon grace upon grace. Watch over me, send your angels to guard me and steady my emotions. Your word assures me that I have the mind of Christ, not one of fear or confusion. I choose to set my mind and heart on your promises, asking for help to meditate on your word day and night. Your promises encourage and uplift me, helping me overcome daily challenges. Your steadfast love and mercies never cease. They are new every morning. 
Great is your faithfulness, Father. I thank you for your endless love and mercy. I give you all the glory and honor, for you alone are worthy of praise. Thank you for hearing this prayer. Amen. Let's start by reading some Bible verses that can inspire hope and strength. 1. Philippians 4, verse 7 assures us that the peace of God beyond our understanding will protect our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. 2. 2 Corinthians 5, verse 7 reminds us that we walk by faith, not by sight. 3. Psalm 23, verse 5 to 6 speaks of God's provision and protection, promising goodness and mercy throughout our lives. 4. Mark 11, verse 22 to 24 teaches us about the power of faith in prayer, encouraging us to believe and receive what we ask for. 5. Proverbs 3, verse 5 to 6 advises us to trust in the Lord with all our hearts and to submit to Him in all our ways, trusting Him to direct our paths. 6. Psalm 28, verse 7 declares that the Lord is our strength and shield, bringing us joy and praise. Now, let's pray. Dear Lord, grant me the strength to live each day in a way that pleases you. Help me to stand firm against the challenges and pressures of this world. Strengthen my faith so I can resist the devil's schemes, knowing that he will flee from me when I resist him. Holy Spirit, I welcome you into my heart and day. Strengthen my faith and remind me that I have a friend in Jesus who is closer than a brother, especially in times of trouble. Thank you for being my rescuer, Lord. Amen. I believe in a love that surpasses any earthly relationship, a love from God that is stronger and purer. When life overwhelms me with problems and I need relief, peace, or restoration, I turn to the Holy Spirit. I trust in a living God who is more than capable of carrying my burdens and granting me rest. He restores all that the enemy has taken away. I know that God is all-powerful and mighty, capable of handling any challenge I face. There's no obstacle too large for him to overcome. I am grateful for the privilege of calling upon God for help, redemption, and forgiveness. My desire is to do his will and be used as a vessel for his purposes, impacting others positively with words and deeds of encouragement and godliness. I pray that my life reflects God's goodness, faithfulness, mercy, and power to transform even the most broken. I hope that unbelievers witness God's love, forgiveness, and grace through my life, seeing evidence of His mercy and His ability to uplift and use anyone for His glory. I claim the promise of God's favor and blessing upon my family and loved ones, confident that His favor surrounds me always. The Bible tells me that you, Lord, are my safe haven. You shield me from trouble and envelop me with songs of deliverance. Today, I seek to always be in your presence, finding refuge in you. I trust your promise to protect me from the challenges of this world. Confident in your word, I know that no force in this world can strip away the authority you've given me. In Luke, you declare that I have the power to overcome all the enemy's schemes. I am grateful for this authority, standing firm in my faith in you, Jesus. I decree that nothing will harm me or my loved ones because your word promises victory over the enemy. In your name, I declare that the enemy has no authority over my home, my family, my health, or my finances. You provide me shelter from life's storms and the assurance of healing and protection. Sickness and disease have no place in my life, my family, or my household. Holy Spirit, empower me to trust in the Lord and not succumb to fear. Grant me the strength, courage, and unwavering faith to overcome the devil's attempts to discourage me. Help me never to take your goodness, love, and mercy for granted. I desire a faith that fully believes in your promises, knowing that you will fight for me and secure victory in every battle. With you by my side, I have nothing to fear, for you have given me a spirit of love 
power and sound judgment. Thank you, Father, for hearing my prayer. I believe you will answer and grant my requests in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. In life, we often face pain, heartache, and draining situations that make us question. I've come to realize that I can't overcome these challenges on my own. I need the help of the Lord to find comfort in His embrace and draw strength from the Holy Spirit. Without them, the pain would be unbearable and heartache could overwhelm me. Knowing that Jesus defeated death gives me hope, faith, and the ability to face my challenges. It's impossible for me to handle everything alone, but with God, all things are possible. We serve a God without limits. He has power over nature, as seen when he parted the Red Sea and calmed storms. Even animals obey his commands, like the lions in Daniel's den or the fish that swallowed Jonah without harming him. Human opposition, like Pharaoh or Goliath, is no match for God's power. The prophets of Baal couldn't stand against him either. The devil has been defeated and will always be defeated because God is almighty. This is the good news I want to share. We can call upon a God who can do more than we can imagine. There's no limit to his strength, wisdom, knowledge, patience, love, or mercy. He works beyond our understanding. So let's call upon him today for the strength we need. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, I give you praise and thanksgiving. When I am weak, you are strong, and you are the one who lifts me up and puts me back together. It's an honor to come before your throne, knowing your unconditional love and care for me, even when I can't fully grasp it. In my times of weakness, I ask for your strength to help me carry the burdens of life and restore my joy. When my faith falters and I feel trapped, I ask for your touch to comfort me and remind me of your perfect strength. Holy Spirit, strengthen me as I pray. Your word in Philippians 4 verse 13 assures me that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I believe I can overcome trials and tests of faith through you. Just as you delivered Daniel from lions and the three Hebrew boys from the fiery furnace, I trust you to save and deliver me in my times of need. Father, when I feel hopeless and lost, I ask for your intervention. Show your power, turn situations around, and strengthen my faith to serve you continually. Help me resist temptation and sinful desires by fortifying my spirit and mind. Enable me to stay vigilant and clear, minded against corrupting influences. Grant me the strength to endure this journey, knowing that only those who endure to the end will be saved. I long to spend eternity with you. Amen. Lord, I ask for your mercy and strength to say yes to your calling, to do what is right in your sight, especially when fear and doubt try to hold me back. I pray that you silence the voices of doubt and inadequacy in my mind. Instead, let the voice of the Holy Spirit grow louder, reminding me of your all-sufficient grace and perfect strength. The psalmist assures me that you are my refuge, strength, and ever present help in trouble. Psalm 46 verse 1. You are always there to shelter me from harm and uphold me, delivering your people when they are in trouble. With your strength, I can overcome bad habits and forgive those who have wronged me, even loving my enemies as you require. Help me, Lord, to let go of any unforgiveness in my heart. Strengthen me to rise above my pain and forgive those who have hurt me. Remind me that as I wait upon you, my strength will be renewed. Comfort me and strengthen my faith when it seems like my prayers go unanswered, reassuring me that your will is perfect and your timing is right. Deliver and empower me, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Often people wonder, what would Jesus do? But perhaps a better question is, what did Jesus do? When we look at the life of our Lord and Savior, we see that he prayed often and consistently. Whether it was early in the morning, late at night, or even throughout the night, Jesus made prayer a priority. Luke 5 verse 16 tells us that he frequently withdrew to the wilderness to pray. 
showing us the importance of spending quality time in prayer. As believers, we should ask ourselves if we are following the example set by Jesus Christ. Are we taking time to remove ourselves from the busyness of life to pray? Are we turning off the distractions of the world to focus on prayer? If not, I encourage you to start today. Make a change in your prayer life and seek the Lord's face for guidance, wisdom, and strength each day. Let's pray together. Lord Jesus, today my heart is bowed before you, filled with faith and awe of your power. I ask that you cleanse me of my sins and be my refuge and strength ever. As Psalm 16 verse 8 says, I have set the Lord always before me, because he is at my right hand, I shall not be shaken. God, I pray that I may always prioritize you in everything I do. May I put you first and seek your guidance in all my ways. Holy Spirit, convict me to set the Lord before me continually. Help me to pray often and consistently with boldness, faith, and earnestness. I know that through prayer, I can find spiritual victory and deepen my relationship with you. Though I don't deserve your grace, I humbly ask for your help in all my endeavors. Help me to live a life that aligns with your word, fearing you and loving you above all else. Our trust is in you, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We acknowledge you as the one who guides our paths, provides for our needs, and sustains us in all things. Amen. Lord, you are our rescuer when we're desperate for salvation. You're our beacon of hope in the darkest times. Help me to release my worries and trust that you'll hear and respond to my pleas. Grant me the strength to step back and witness your work, knowing you'll answer my cries. As I wait for you to renew my strength, I claim your power in my distress, confusion, and challenges trusting you'll guide me to victory. Hold me in your comforting embrace so I can see beyond my weaknesses and appreciate the strength you offer. Bestow upon me gifts suitable for serving you and blessing others, gifts like faith, healing, wisdom, and speaking in tongues. Help me bear good fruit, showing kindness, meekness, love, joy, peace, and self-control all through your power. The Holy Spirit, as the Comforter, intercedes for me when I'm weak or uncertain, aligning my thoughts with God's will. I long for a closer walk with God, a life pleasing to Him. I pray for every believer who needs reassurance and strength in times of uncertainty. May they find peace and hope in your promises, such as Jeremiah 29, verse 11 and 33, verse 3. We call upon you, God expecting your answer. In you, we find joy, triumph, peace, and victory. Thank you for hearing our prayers, Lord Jesus. Amen. Dear Father, I thank you for your kindness and mercy, for fighting battles on my behalf, both seen and unseen. I ask for your divine protection, knowing you understand my struggles and challenges. Please open my spiritual eyes to realize the authority you've given me through your word and in your name. Help me understand your ways and become familiar with your presence. May the Holy Spirit always remind me of my identity as a saved child of God and of the promises in your word that declare I am blessed, favored, and victorious. Your word says that those who dwell in your secret place are under your protection. I declare today that I trust in you for victory and breakthrough in every area of my life. I trust you to see me through, even when things seem bleak. You are my refuge and fortress, and I have full confidence in you. I thank you, Lord, for being present in my life, for being the unchanging God who provides shelter and security. I speak the blood of Jesus over every person listening, asking for victory triumph and breakthrough in their lives. I decree and declare that no evil shall prevail against us, for we are under your protection and guidance. Amen. Father, I pray for strength for all of us to remain firm in our faith, 
Holy Spirit, guide us to rely on faith rather than what we see. We trust in you, God, who can move mountains and break barriers like the walls of Jericho. We believe that despite the chaos around us, everything will eventually work out for our good because we have faith in you. We ask for peace and direction, especially during uncertain times. We acknowledge that we can't face these challenges alone. We pray for everyone listening that whatever struggles they're facing, whether in their spirit, mind, or body, you, Jesus, will set them free as your word promises. You invite us to find rest in you when we're weary and burdened, so we come to you, seeking your help in supernatural breakthroughs. Holy Spirit, comfort us during these times. We declare that no weapon formed against us or our families, be it against our mental health, finances, or any aspect of our lives, will succeed, for we stand in the power of Jesus' blood. Amen. Father, I open my heart to you and praise your holy name. You are above all, surpassing any evil force. Nothing and no one can stand against you. I call upon your name, believing that you will bring a breakthrough even when I can't see it with my own eyes. I trust by faith that you are working for my good. Lord Jesus, grant me wisdom and insight to walk by faith, not by sight. Your word assures me in Exodus 14, verse 14, verse 14, verse 14, that you fight my battles, so I pray for your protection against the enemy's traps. Be my guiding light, leading me away from unrighteous paths. Open my spiritual eyes to discern the enemy's schemes. I plead the blood of Jesus over all my circumstances, knowing it brings victory. Instill in me a hunger to seek you and draw me closer to you. Strengthen my spirit to resist deception and fill my life with the light of Jesus Christ, dispelling darkness. You are a consuming fire, God, mighty and holy. Burn away any confusion or fear in my life. I rebuke the spirit of depression and speak peace over myself. Thank you for your unwavering faithfulness. You never abandon us. Father, bless all who are in agreement with this prayer. Fill their lives with peace beyond understanding. We trust in your sovereignty and deliverance. Thank you for victory and breakthrough, for making a way for us. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. The Bible teaches us in James 5, verse 16, that the fervent prayers of the righteous avail much, meaning God hears and answers us. Nehemiah 8 verse 10 reminds us that the joy of the Lord is our strength. No matter our circumstances, we have hope in Jesus Christ. Isaiah 40 verse 30, one assures us that those who wait on the Lord will renew their strength. Surrendering control to God, we find rest in faith, trusting in his provision. Surrendering to God's care and resting in his promises. Heavenly Father, your kindness is fresh every morning, and your faithfulness towards me is unmatched. I'm thankful for your blessings and the chance to start a new day, knowing it holds both opportunities and challenges. I trust in you to provide the strength I need to overcome any obstacles I face today. I'm grateful for the life you've given me and the assurance of your care and love. Thank you for meeting my basic needs and providing for my family. Help me to love and serve others as a testament to your goodness and mercy. Grant me peace of mind and joy that comes from you alone. As I go about my day, help me to make the most of my potential and be productive in all I do. Guide my steps so that I may not be led astray from your path. Your word says to acknowledge you in all my ways, so I seek your guidance in every aspect of my life. Whether I'm facing challenges or blessings, I will seek you. Help me to surrender my heart and will to you completely so that you can lead me in the right direction. Inspire my actions and words to reflect that I am your child. Give me opportunities to serve in your kingdom and help those in need around me. Clear my path for success and protect me from harm. 
Grant me the strength to overcome doubt and fear and help me to defeat any obstacles in my way. Remind me that I am not alone and that I can claim victory over today's trials. Guide me in my decision, making and help me to make choices that align with your will. Provide for every need in my life and make me whole. I trust in your faithfulness, knowing that you will never forsake me. Bless your holy name and thank you for hearing my prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notification bell to get notified anytime we post a new video. God bless you. Amen.